am a self-educating dom with a submissive veil into forced feminization and chastity. We really enjoy your work. So my question for your upcoming Q&A is, what are some creative punishments I can apply to my routine as we grow into a 24-7 kink? His kinks are anal play, chastity, sensory deprivation, and sissification. He isn't into pain for punishment, hold anything, kneeling on rice, wet socks, none of the sort. And he's 54. He just wants to feel pretty. He isn't into pain for punishment. And then you tell me all the other things he isn't into for punishment. What do you mean when you say isn't into? Is that just him going, oh, no, I don't like that. I hate that. Or is it him going, no, that is an absolute hard limit. That would be traumatizing. I would feel unsafe and violated. What, what, what is it? We got to get real clear on what isn't into means. Because I'm sorry, a submissive tells me what he isn't into, but does not say that that is a hard limit. Okay, I write down as, as a fucking punishment. I'm sorry, you're not into lotion? Okay, come over here. I'm going to squirt lotion into a pair of gloves. I'm going to stick your mangy hands in them, and then I'm going to put you in bondage for an hour while I get off and you watch. If he has not said, this is a hard limit, I will feel violated and traumatized and unsafe, and then spray seltzer water in his face. (laughs) Sir, jump for the win. So if he has not set that as a hard limit, and he's like, oh, God, no, I can't tolerate anything cold. No, I don't want to do that. I don't want to kneel on rice. I don't want to march around in wet socks. I'm just 54, and I want to feel pretty. (laughs) Okay, well, this little entitled attitude doesn't make me feel like making you pretty. I guess we're at an impasse. Is it into doesn't mean a hard limit. Hard limits, you don't violate ever, 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 ever. But he has not set these things as a hard limit. So he's controlling how or if you are able to punish him. That is unacceptable. That's stopping from the bottom. That's bullshit. Put this little beta in his place. Okay? Yep. There it is, Empress. (laughs) <laughs> she knows me. She knows me. Do you see what I'm saying? You have to speak to the actual pain point. Okay? Okay? So you said he isn't into pain for punishment. Okay, beat the fucking shit out of him. He doesn't like anything cold. Give him an ice bath and then beat the shit out of him. He doesn't like kneeling on rice. Okay, give him an ice bath. Make him kneel on rice. Well, you beat the shit out of him. Should I continue? Like, he's into feminization. You could make him dress like a lumberjack and forbid him to shave. Exactly. And that was my next point. Max, you brilliant creature, reverse engineer the kinks. He likes to look cute and pretty. Okay. Yeah, you're growing a beard, bro. You're growing a beard and you're wearing the most masculine shit I have ever seen and I'm gonna just dote on you and talk about your big strong man muscles and how I just wanna bite your big strong manly chest reverse engineer the king find the actual pain point reverse engineer what he likes take it away if he's saying he's not into pain for punishment that's a pain point cold pain point kneeling on rice pain point wet socks pain point He just wants to feel pretty, so making him feel dungy and masculine, ah, pain point, all right? If he doesn't say this is a hard limit and this would make me feel violated and abused, um, that's not the the end of the negotiation where he goes, no, I don't like that. Then you you know, okay, but do, are you revoking your consent? (laughs) And if he says, well, no, okay, then that's punishment option. You need to negotiate that. (laughs) 